What is going on guys, this is Johnny of Watch Company on YouTube and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to integrate GitHub into your Android Studio project and how to easily get started with GitHub using just Android Studio. No external tools are required guys. And real quick before we get started with this topic, I just want to tell you that I'm sorry for not uploading videos for I think close to three weeks or so, but that was because I had to give a really important presentation and I had to be preferred for well over half a year. And you know, it was just really important that it was just kind of like it it mattered for the future. Um so definitely it was a really important presentation, guys. So I had to give it and I was it was really stressful, so I couldn't really make any videos. I had to do a lot of preparation, I had a supervisor and all that. So yeah, I'm sorry for not uploading videos, but I'm back to it uh, guys and I'm gonna upload a C sharp voice recognition tutorial or the second one at least, um in I think, you know, a couple of days maybe. Alright guys. So now let's get into this right now. Um, so what you want to use is VCS, this stands for Version Control Service, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, so first off, you're going to see a lot of different options right here. So the local history would be whatever you changed in this project right here. Um, then we got some VCS operations pop up, so some things you can do, um, some basic operations you can do. You can apply patches, um, you can check out from certain version control things, you can import this into version control, and that's exactly what we're going to do, by the way, guys. So we're going to share this project in GitHub. That's what we're going to do. So right now, we want to enable version control integration so we can use our project. So what we want to do, um, you basically want to enable this for Git right here. Now hit OK. And now it's basically going to enable this for version control. Now you can see all of your things are red, and that's basically because um, we have not actually pushed uh, our project. And we have not actually, you know, put it on GitHub yet. So that's exactly what we're going to need to do. Right now, what I'm going to do, um, before we actually get started with all of this, you actually have to go and sign up at GitHub right here. So what is GitHub? This basically allows you, GitHub basically allows you to collaborate with other people and to work on software together. And this is basically what it says right here. So you can create repositories, and those are basically your projects, and you can work on this project with multiple people. So you can check in, then you can make changes, you can push these changes, and then this, these changes are going to show up in the project, and then other people can see the, these changes and can work on the project uh, simultaneously, which I think is really amazing. So yeah, guys, um, that's what we're going to do today. So right now, if you don't already have a GitHub account, you you know want to sign up right here. So sign up for GitHub, and you want to enter in your username, pick a username, your email, and create a password. And once you're signed in and you're all set up, uh, this is basically what you're going to see. This, this is basically your main user interface of this website, so you have a few different options. I'm not really going to talk about all the different options which GitHub provides. It's just going to be about how to integrate GitHub in, uh, with Android Studio right here. So that's what we're going to do today. So as you can see, I do not have any repositories. I have some in my in this organization which I created. And there's a slight possibility that it's going to go into this organization because it's something I set up. So I'm not too sure if this is going to go in my user uh, account, so in this desk queue account which I created, or into my organization account. Not entirely sure, but you probably just have this account, so you don't have to worry about any of that. All right. So what you want to do now, you want to go to VCS again, and we want to import into version control. And now you're going to do share project in GitHub. So now it's going to need to access GitHub, and I actually have a, a lock in already here. So I'm quickly going to lock in, and as you can see, it says you have to sign up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to set up my login right now, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, so now once you're done with that, you just have to click lock in, and now you can use, um, basically create a password database, and then you can set a master password and all that. So actually, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, now it's going to access GitHub, and now we can actually share this project in GitHub, so we can create a new repository. I'm basically going to call this contact manager. I'm just going to say, this is a project which I am creating on my YouTube channel. And uh, you can basically add a link as well, so I'm just quickly going to do that. Uh, so that would be HTTP. 
Okay, so now I'm good. All right, so now I'm going to hit share. And this is basically going to add all of our files, which we have right here. It's going to add all of these files to the Git repository. And that's exactly what we want. So make sure you don't actually have any important information in there. So you really have to watch out for that. Don't actually do any of that. Don't actually put any of these important files, files which contain, uh, contain personal information. Don't actually put them in this Git repository. Or at least um, delete all the valuable information you have in there. Hit OK. And this is the initial commit. That's what it says. Now you can see it's pushing to GitHub and all that. So that takes a little while. But it shouldn't really take too long. It's really a, quite a fast process. But yeah, it seemed... Eh, well. Okay, now we're done. So as you can see up here it says successfully shared project in GitHub. Now if you go to GitHub and refresh this website we should see our repository right here so as you can see your repositories and now we have the contact manager repository and now you can see all of the files right here um, so as you can see we have a contact manager and we have source main and you know just all of our files that if you go to java org entry code contact manager <laughs> finally and now we can go into our main activity class as an example and we can actually view the whole code of this class which I think is really amazing and right now this is public so anyone can go to this uh, to github to this repository and browse all of the files and of course uh, you know download them okay guys yeah so this is actually all you have to do to share your project in github and if you want to change something now you can see how this turns blue and how this is green so all the changes we've made are now green and they're gonna be displayed and whenever you're done doing some changes so maybe I wanna add a comment here uh, just call this some changes you can push this right here or you can pull this so these are two different options so if you wanna pull a project that basically means it's gonna update all the files to kind of the latest version and then you're gonna be able to work on your things again and this basically means you're pushing we're committing the changes so let's push this and now you can see we have changed this little file right here and now you can have a commit message something like uh, just a test or something and then hit commit and now all these changes are committed and now it says yeah some warnings right now so you can just hit commit and now two changes are committed but now I think the project is not pushed yet or at least I don't think so. Hold on a second. So let's check. So now we can refresh the page and see if we committed any changes. No, we did not. So let's just go to commit changes and let's actually commit and push these changes. That basically means it's going to update all of that. So now hit push. Um, and now it pushes the project. So of course you can do this in VCS right here. And then you can go to git um, right here hold on git and then you can go to push so I just committed the changes again which wasn't really a smart move but yeah so now we should be able to see that we just yeah here we go so this is the chain uh, file we changed so we change a file in here this dot ID and um, contact manager dot ID um, yeah so you guys this is already how you can integrate github and how you can work with it in Android Studio. And yeah, I hope you liked that video and hope it's helpful. So, you guys, thank you very much for watching, and I see you in another tutorial.